among the early church or church fathers? Can you clarify what you said? Yeah. Did you say church fathers canon, or church? What shouldn't be in the canon basis? Sorry? Oh, yeah. What, what, what is scripture? What is it? Early church fathers. So now you have early church fathers disputing whether this book should be part of God's word. Yeah, but why? Can I? No, why? Look, no, can you for, finish this? Excuse me, please. Come on. I let you make your claim with your evidence that you have. And it's us now to assess your evidence. Yeah, but assess it historically. Please, assess your evidence and see whether way up to or add up to the claim that you're making. If you're saying the Bible was canonized very early, that's the claim and you need to support that. And you have given us something to support your claim. But what you've actually done is actually supported us in doing so. You said there were some early church fathers who doubted whether the book of Revelation should be in the Bible. Meaning what? Whether we consider this to be the word of God. No. No, 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 no. So what does it mean? No, no, no. What does canonization no, mean? No, no, you, you, you mis you're misunderstanding what it's all about. Go ahead then, explain. Right. I've explained to you right early on. Do, do you dispute that the book of Revelation right early on... Meaning of canonization. Do you dispute... There's different meanings to the word canonization. What is your meaning? There's That's what I want to know. There's different Forget about it. Hold on to this. Have you heard of Dr. Bauer? Bauer? Um, Forget about quoting the scholars. Why didn't you tell us what you mean by it? Have you heard of Dr. Bauer? Let me explain. Don't mock him. Dr. Bauer is a I'm very famous you. scholar in 1930. He's the one mocking him. You're laughing at him. You're mocking him. You're attacking the Bible. Who's Dr. Bauer? Dr. Bauer? Yeah. Who is it? Dr. Bauer is the most influential scholar when it comes to canonization today. Right. According which, to who? which sect is he from? According to is the a Western scholarship. If, I mean, so if, I to find, if I were to go to a, you know, academia like in King's College or somewhere, uh, or Edinburgh, or Belfast. I'm just teaching listen, you the basics. Excuse me, please, please. I'm saying, I'm just trying to confirm. Do you know who Dr. Bauer is? Listen, it doesn't mean it. Because I don't know, so what I'm suggesting is this. If I were to go to any university in, in the world today, teaching New Testament canonization, and I can find and everyone saying Dr. Bauer is the most influential person in regards to canonization. Is that what you're saying? He is. <laughs> good, good, good. So yes. everyone now hears. Yeah, so when we check out and you this is not the case, do you want to debate me next week? No, no, no. Do you want to debate me next week? Why didn't you debate now? Why don't you debate now? Why don't you take the opportunity to discuss now? No, 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 excuse me, excuse me. Do you want to debate me next week as well? On what? On canonization. I'm, I'm not interested in that debate. Okay. I'm more interested in what, no. what you believe. You prove in no. terms of your you, God. No, do you believe in three uh, No, no, you've just changed. No, you, you just changed. changed. You changed. You can't do that. No, you changed. 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 You chang
I don't know who this Dr. Bauer is. What I simply wanted to confirm from you is this. Because no you say he's the most influential person in the field of colonization, we should go to any university, in any academic study, and you should be able to find from the textbooks and from the professors, they're saying, of course he is. That's all I was asking. That's all I was asking. Now, to return to the subject at hand that we we're discussing about colonization, you stated in black and white terms that there were some church fathers who disputed whether the book of Revelation should be in the canon then. And it took about 400 or so more years before it officially got canonized. Actually, 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 no. it was actually longer than that. Yeah. I just said the minimum. Longer than, okay, more than 400 years. More, yeah. So now what you're establishing is this. From the first 400 years, the book of Revelation was disputed whether this should be part of the canon of the Bible. And what is a canon of the Bible? The canon determines whether this book is considered to be the book of God, the word of God. If the book is not in the Bible part of a canon, it's not the book of God. It could be something like a historical narrative. So now we have established from your own mouth, Jason, Oh. that the canonization for the book of Revelation took more than 400 years. That means people were confused for 400 years at least sure whether the book should be considered from God or Are not. You, sure about that? you just said that. No, I never Clearly. said that. You no, don't put words in my mouth. No. <laughs> okay. No, no. What is canon? No, no, what is a canon? Let, let me answer that. No. Let me let finish. Him, no. Is he going to define what canon is? See, it's not let me speak. All right. Go ahead. Let him speak. You made right. a claim that you said people were confused, right? You have to define what you mean by confused in people. Is it leaders or the church? I'll do that. Right. If you're and, and if you do, provide the evidence. Sure. Because I can tell you the leaders were debating the issue, <laughs> but that's a different matter in terms of church. And then we'd have to look at sources. I haven't got all the sources here, but we'd have to look at the actual uh, manuscripts. Sure. Okay. So I'm going to pull up different canons throughout the history of Christian texts of the Bible. Yeah. So now I will demonstrate to you from 